I would say English is very important. When you go to university, you'll be studying together with UK students and the English language level that you have at the beginning of the programme will have an impact on the degree classification that you receive at the end of the programme. So it's very important that you know as much English as possible before you progress to university. Uh, we offer a range of foundation programmes at the college. Um, it ranges from the Business Studies programme, which is our most popular option. Uh, we have the Management and Finance programme. Um, we have the Social Science programme. We have the Hospitality Management programme, as well as the Media Studies programme. The Business Studies programme, like I said, the most popular option. Um, it includes English and Study Skills, which is an essential component. We have mathematics and statistics, which is also very popular with the students because they come with quite a strong background academically in terms of the mathematics skills. Um, that also includes economics and business studies itself as a subject, um, as well as sociology, which is a subject that I teach myself. The media program, I mean, in my opinion, is probably the most exciting foundation program we have. Um, it has been described from an observer in the college that is probably the best uh, media programme for that age group in the country, which for me is outstanding feedback to receive and to get that sort of feedback from someone who's not involved in international, so that's amazing. Um, on the media studies programme, they also do sociology, but it's sociology of the media. They also do the politics of the media. They do, do things such as media production as well. Uh, they also do film studies and textual analysis. And of course, uh, that also includes the English and study skills component, because that is something which goes across all the foundation programs. So before we begin, I'd like to begin with a little warm-up discussion, uh, something for you to think about. And the thing I want you to think about is why quote, why use a quote rather than paraphrase? Okay, that's the first thing I want you to think about. The second thing is why paraphrase rather than quote? So please discuss together and can you write your answers on the mini whiteboard? Yeah. Because uh, in Stratford, the life is uh, quiet and peaceful, and there are a lot of uh, restaurants in the street. As a foodie, I most like the Chinese one, and uh, it is a, it, there. Uh, Stratford is a quiet and beautiful uh, town, and you can focus on your study very well. Uh, in the college, you will find the teacher is very nice, and before your coursework, you can hand in your plan uh, by email to your teacher, and they will give you some advice, and you can get a good grade uh, on the uh, on the coursework. Okay, so the first question we had: uh, Why quote rather than paraphrase? Can you give me one reason? Yeah, because we do not want to alter the writer's exact meaning. Like we do not change, we do not want to change the meaning. Right. Okay. So you don't want to change the meaning yeah. of the quotation. Okay. That's that's a very good reason. Okay. And how about Matteo? Your another good reason. Uh, we thought that uh, you cannot change the definition of something. You cannot paraphrase the definition. Right. So you have to quote okay, the definition. Okay. So we can use quotes for definitions. Yeah, okay. Definitions. That's another good reason. Um, mm, I think here there are. 许多不同国家的饮食，像土耳其烤肉，呃，法国的一些餐厅，呃，当然也有中国的餐厅，所以我觉得这边的饮食以及生活都非常的好。然后，呃，当地的人也都非常的友善。就，嗯，我第一次来这边的时候。因为不认识路，然后问路，一个老爷爷搂着我，然后指着地图告诉我怎么怎么到这个地点，所以我觉得我在这边的生活应该是过得十分的惬意吧。What I would say to the students is that you know we have an amazing team here in terms of the support team, in terms of the administration. We also have an amazing teaching team,、uh, and all of them are dedicated to making sure the students get the best. Outcome from their experience here. So my advice to them would be make the most of it and take advantage of this bridge that we offer between high school and university. Okay, so they'll get a flavour of both of those experiences here.、Um, and what I would say is just make the most of it.、Uh, every student has their own personal tutor,、uh, which is dedicated just for them to help them through the UCAS process.、Um, we have an administration team,、uh, which are that you know they sort of level one UK EVI、um, in terms of offering classes and so forth. Um, they're very experienced. They also arrange extracurricular activities for the students. 
So that might be related to assessments such as the Business Enterprise Week, which is we can see which groups make the most money, uh, which is always interesting. Um, and we also have other trips such as trips to Alton Towers. We also raise money for charity. So for example, last year we raised 800 pounds for the Nepal earthquake appeal, um, which is obviously a worthy cause. Um, but I would say it is, it is a, quite an intense year. Uh, and at times it can be quite difficult, but the teachers and the admin team are here to support you every step of the way. So, you know, just make the most of it and have a good time as well. My advice would be work hard and whatever your teacher tells you to do, uh, you should do it. And another piece of advice I would give is um, prepare for your classes. If your teacher gives you some background reading to do before the class, it's really important that you prepare for the class before the class and that will make you successful. Thank you.